All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the race we have all been waiting for. It is the four by one mile relay at the 2022 New Balance Nationals. This showdown is really all about one very special team, and that's Newberry Park High School from Southern California. For the previous few months, this team has been tearing apart the record books, taking down various national records in both cross country and now on the track. But for this race, we have the special opportunity to see the Young Brothers and the Salmon Brothers compete together on the same relay team. And if history is any indicator, the national record of 17 minutes and one second is almost guaranteed to go down. Immediately from the start of this race, we saw Aaron Salmon gap the field instantly, throwing in an opening quarter mile of 60.1 seconds. This was quite the bold opening for the 4x1 mile relay, and while the elusive possibility of the 4 minute mile pace briefly surfaced here, his half mile split of 204.6 made this goal more or less impossible at this point. Now, before this race began, there were many people discussing just how close Newberry could get to the 16-minute mark, which would be a pace of 4 minutes per mile for each athlete. But already by the half-mile split, it became apparent that this time would not be achieved. And when you also consider the fact that only two teams in history have ever achieved a sub-16, you begin to realize that this mark for a high school team is honestly next to impossible, especially during the indoor season. Now for this opening mile, Aaron Salmon ran a tremendous split of 4 minutes 11.73 seconds, and for his quarter mile splits, he achieved times of 60.1, 64.4, 64.7, and 62.11. At this point in the race, Newberry's lead was almost 10 seconds, as the second place team Corning Track Club hit a time of 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Now, 4 minutes and 20 seconds is still very solid for a high school athlete, but honestly, Newberry Park is simply on another level, and at this point in the race, their lead only continued to grow. For the second leg, Leo Young took the baton and absolutely took off. I mean, it honestly looks like he's sprinting here. Now, you might not believe this, but according to the Armory Track Club, which was getting the splits for this race, his opening quarter mile was 57.30 seconds, which is almost world record pace for the indoor mile. Maybe it was the energy of the stadium, perhaps it was the adrenaline rushing through his body, or maybe Newberry just made the conscious attempt to go after the sub-4 pace here. Either way, this quarter mile was amazing to see, but after this opening quarter, he did settle down the pace, following up this 57.3 with splits of 62.9, 63.9, and for his final quarter, he ran a 62.6. Leo's second leg put Newberry Park at 8 minutes and 18 seconds for their two-mile split, a pace that would equate to an overall time of 16 minutes and 36 seconds. But given the fact that Lex Young and Colin Salmon were still set to run, a sub-1630 was most definitely a possibility. For this third split, Lex followed in the speedy footsteps of his brother as he took off with a very quick split of 60.15 seconds, another incredible opening to this mile split. Following this opening quarter, he proceeded to run a 63.3, a 62.5, and then a very solid 61.2, a total one mile split of four minutes, 7.35 seconds. And now with Colin Salmon on the anchor leg, who's already run a three minute and 58 second mile this season, it was more than apparent that the national record was going down. Once Colin got the baton, the history books were all but rewritten. For this opening quarter, he ran a time of 59.6, followed by a 61.9, a 63.8, and then for his final quarter mile, Colin Salmon turned on the Jets, achieving a time of 58.28 seconds. Absolutely unbelievable. With mile times of 411.37, 406.86, 407.35, and a final split of 403.74, Newberry Park obliterated the previous national record by just over 32 seconds, which is easily one of the all-time greatest records in high school running history. This team just continues to impress with each and every performance, and while many other moments from Newberry Park have left the track and field world borderline speechless, 
This four by mile relay record just might be the greatest record to date, as this 1629 performance improves on the previous national record by 3.23%, which if you're familiar with record breaking performances, is a monumental jump in new record breaking times. Only a handful of breakthroughs in history have ever broken a record by more than 2%, so to have a time that's over 3% better than the previous time is truly a once-in-a-generation performance. One of the most compelling parts of this race is what Leo Young did for his opening quarter mile. At 57.3, his pace was approaching a suicidal tempo that could have easily spelled disaster down the line, but with a split of 406.86, he proved that he is in phenomenal shape this season, and who knows, once the outdoor season does arrive, perhaps he can also run a sub 4 minute mile. Honestly, anything seems possible if you're on the Newberry squad. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.